Plasma! Hello everyone, Cat McBuffin here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. We are playing Pokemon Black version. Yeah! I'm excited for this one. Uh, I've been behind the, uh, well, rather, out of the loop for uh, Pokemon for a while, and I just got my, uh, I just recently got Pokemon Black the the month that Pokemon X came out, and I just got a 3DS in uh, back in March. So now I'm caught up, and I have to say, I think this is my new favorite generation. I used to like, um... I used to like Gen 3 and Pokemon Sapphire, but I think this one beats it out. And uh, you'll see, just in case you haven't seen this game yet, it's a really, really good one. The plot's awesome, the Pokemon are great. Uh, let's just get right into it. Enough of my dumbassery. Let's, I accidentally pressed B and not A. Let's try that again. Let's start this game off. Yeah! Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Yeah, cool. We got there. Oh, it's a Mancino! Maniac Mancino! That's right. This world is rat widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. He's so he's waiting for a high five. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man, give me a high five! Give me a high five! Don't leave me hanging! Come on! <laughs> Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Alright. Are you a boy or a girl? We really gotta do this every time. You gotta you gotta question my genderedness. I am a boy. Thank you very much. Yes, I am. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. You got it, toots. My name, as... <sighs> Stop pressing B. My name, as always, is... Not with a C. Or, not with a period. My name is Captain. Your name is Captain? That's what I just said. So your name's Captain. What a wonderful name. Oh, thanks. I made it up. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to you your best to your two best friends. Ugh. There's one thing I don't like about this game. It's these people. This young man is Charon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. Also, she's a bunny rabbit. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Captain! The moment you chose this Poke choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your, st your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope that you find what is important to, all to you in all these travels. That's right, befriend new Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's head on down to Unova. Winter. Why is it winter? Uh, it doesn't matter, really. So yeah, this game is quite different from the ones you may have seen in the past. Which, uh, go- and that goes without saying that Pokemon X and Y are completely different from those games in- 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 Alright, well anyway, this game is very cinematic. It's got some- it's got a great plot. I love it. Anyway, Captain, I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? I don't know. Oh, there she is. Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca, I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously. Today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know. Sorry, Captain. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Captain's house, so Captain gets first pick. Naturally. I hate these two characters. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Captain, you go first and take a peek at, peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Oh, you're so excited. You suck. You suck. I'm the only good person here. Captain, open the gift box. Yeah, I did. It's got a note. 
I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely, enjoy your Pokemon. Alright. This game is going to slow down a little bit. Alright, so, just in case you haven't guessed already, this is a Nintendo DS game, and I'm only, uh, showing the top screen. Uh, I'm only doing that because it'll make it easier. I don't have to do a dual screen. It's just that, yeah. You hardly ever use the, uh, the bottom screen in this game anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, we can choose between the grass-type Pokemon Snivy, the fire-type Pokemon Tepig, and the water-type Pokemon Oshawott, which for the longest time I thought was a cat, but it's actually a seal. Anyway, what am I going to go with, you ask? I'm going to go with Tepig. Is this the Pokemon you want? Yes, it is. Yeehaw! Captain chose a Tepig. Indeed. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to po pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Oshawott from the start anyway. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> really? We're going to do that already? Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have, po have Pokemon battles inside a house. Yeah, seriously. Don't be a worry ward. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll, they'll get stronger. It's settled, Captain. Get ready for a Pokemon battle, and I can't talk in this entire game, so I basically let them control my life. Did I mention I really hate these characters? Anyway, we're going against Bianca, who I believe is the one with the Pokemon who's weak to you. Am I right about that? Oh, we're experiencing slowdown. I hope you'll excuse that. Yes, okay. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We are going to use Tackle. So, unfortunately, you're not going to see the moves that I'm using as I select them, but that doesn't matter, because you'll see what happens anyway. Eek! Ouch! I won't let you get away with that! How did she get such a huge hit on me the first time? I must have either really bad stats, or she got a critical, or she has really good stats. Oh, man. Okay, this might end up bad. I hope this isn't a, uh, a bad omen. I really hope not. Okay, there we go. Critical hit. Okay. Yeah! Almost level 6. The Pokemon on both sides did their best. And... Uh, Alright. Oh, look what we did. Look at this. What? What? How, how did they get p footprints on the ceiling? Or on the walls? That makes no sense. Wow! Come, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I'm gonna c I can tell. I may have beat up your room with all of this Pokemon Valley, but it doesn't matter. It's not my house. No doubt! Uh... Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa, whoa! What happened? Wow! Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong! I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, uh, sorry about your room, Cam. You... <laughs> hate you. Oh, I'm sorry about that text screen. Uh, I'm using Bandicam again because Fraps doesn't work on this emulator. We're off to a great start, aren't we? You two are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Yeah, alright. Cam's Pokemon needs to be fixed up, too. Hooray! Hey, Charon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair that you, if you two are the only ones to have fun battling. This guy is a stick in the mud. You'll see. They're complete. Those, those two characters are complete opposites, and they're like the extreme sides of each side. Fist decided, you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Well, your first, not my first. I have experience already. Let's see what you can do, Oshawott. Alright. I went off with I went with Oshawott the first time I played this game. And I have let me tell you, I have played the hell out of this game. So I know the goings on. Of course I say that now and I'll probably derp out on a whole bunch of mistakes that I make. Because if you've watched my Sapphire and Fire Red Let's Plays, uh, they didn't go well because I made a lot of stupid mistakes. A lot of stupid mistakes. 
But since I've gotten back into pe playing Pokemon and playing all of the, the new games, I, uh, I've been paying a lot more attention to what I've been doing, so hopefully things go better. And, um, if you want to know how to properly play Pokemon, and by that I mean tips is on how you can actually beat the game and not derp around like I do, watch my good friend Lennon's Let's Play that you can find right over here. I'll put either a link in the description or on the screen right now. So yeah, cool stuff. Watch that video because it's actually helpful. It definitely helped me out. So we beat out Oshawott. No problem. And we're level six. All right. Cooley, you defeated Charon. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. No, it was a ham sandwich. Jeez, Charon. Anyway, I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Yeah, we better, she's gonna kill me. I'm never gonna be able to go on my adventure. Oh, I better come too. Yeah, you better. What's sad is we never get rid of these these characters. They stay with us the whole time. And I, I be, by that I mean they show up all the time. I'm oh wait, I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait! I gotta go home first! Thanks for having us over! Yeah. Bye, guys. Freaking douches. Anyway. My, my, Captain. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? Yes, they are. I can hear the Pokemon's cries clear from down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. You were a trainer? Whoa! Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Da, 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 da. I love how they ne that, how some sounds in this game never change, no matter what generation you're playing. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. It's basically a watch, in which you can talk to people on it. All right. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Okay. What's on TV? It's the Waving Weaving Walk. Wall Walk for short. I wonder what kind of Pokemon we'll meet today. Oh, what's this? It's a Pokemon with the ability Harvest. Pokemon, uh, I don't really care anymore. But anyway, unlike uh, previous uh, generations, you can watch the TV anytime there will always be something on. Oh, look at all those pit -ups. They're flying away. Alright. Now then. Uh, we gotta go to Bianca's house, I believe, is the first thing we have to do. So... Uh, it feels so slow. Because <laughs> po in Pokemon X, you can uh, start going right away. You can start running right away. That's Jaren's house. Of course I picked the wrong one. Alright, so this is interesting. This has never happened in a Pokemon game, but I think it's a, a cool detail. No, no, a thousand times, no! But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything! I can totally go on an adventure! Uh-oh, this is awkward. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's fine! I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? So yeah, I'm not gonna talk to him, but basically, uh, the dad, or Bianca's dad, doesn't want her, her, his kid to go out on an adventure. I don't think he says why, he just doesn't want it to happen, but whatever, anyway. Okay, let's go meet the professor. But you gotta think about it. These kids are ten years old, and their parents are just letting, being like, Okay, you go off into the wide world and do whatever. Hi there, I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Come, come, Sharon, this is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Alright. Oh, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. Feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. Because I leveled it up. 
By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Oh yeah, I will. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do in this uh, this game. You know how in Pokemon Sapphire Let's Play, I gave my Pokemon the names of anything sea-related. And in the Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play, Stacy named her Pokemon after food, and I named my Pokemon after book characters. This time we're gonna flip the coin a little bit, and I'm just gonna name my Pokemon the first thing that comes to my head. No matter what it is, the first thing that I think of, that's what I'm gonna name it. So, you want to play any- wait, no, 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 no! What? I didn't mean to do that! Dang it! <laughs> okay, like I was saying the first time, I'm going to just name the th first thing that comes to my head, and yes, I would like to give my Pokemon a nickname. Jeez, I had to start over. Okay, I'm gonna call you... Uh... Jerry. <laughs> I'm gonna call my Tepic Jerry. Alright, Jerry. I really hope I like this <laughs> this name, because, seriously... Uh-huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname, Jerry? Yeah, I am. Jerry is a great name. That is such a great name. I'm glad you agree. As far as why I save all of you... As why I gave all of you Pokemon... It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I am astonished. Nice work, Charon. You must have played some of the previous games, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So I want you to three to visit many places to meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Come on, Captain, Charon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Of course not. Yes, I will. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. Yeah, we got the poke iPod. <laughs> you obtained the iPod. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Oh, Jesus. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? This episode's probably going to go on a little longer than I intend them to. This is since Professor a the Professor asked that it's still okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I'd like to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. You can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. But yeah, like I was saying, this uh, is probably going to go on a little longer because I... Hey, Captain, wait up! Stop interrupting me, woman! Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you through each of these town maps. Hooray! We got a town map. Alright. Here you are, Charon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much! As for your room, Captain, well, or what's left of it, no need of any for you to do that. No need for any of you to worry. I can't taking care of. I can't talk today. Holy crap! Okay, Captain. Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy bedroom. They really are something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. All your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots, lots of places like in the Nova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'll remember that. Are we done yet? Jeez. If I use a town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? That's the professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go. Captain, hurry and come too, okay? Ugh. Okay, yeah. I was going to say we're going to continue, but no, we're we're ending on, we're ending it off here. We'll uh, reach part two of this uh, this tutorial in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black. So thank you for watching. This has been Captain Muffin, and I will see you again next time.